Brought to you by the Bose Headset 10 and by Philips 66 Aviation. The Bose Aviation Headset 10, voted number one for the ninth consecutive year in Professional Pilots' 2009 Annual Headset Preference Survey. Today's Aviation Headset 10 delivers a highly acclaimed combination of noise reduction, clearer audio, and comfort that remains unmatched. Learn more at Bose.com slash headset. Talk to an Amphib pilot and he'll tell you that it's the best kind of flying around. This is Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from Sun and Fun uh, 2010 in Lakeland. And back when this S39 Sikorsky was built, uh, Amphib flying was more of a practical thing because there weren't that many uh, runways around. Dick Jackson of Rochester, New Hampshire has gone to great lengths to enjoy the uh, uh, flying qualities of this aircraft. This is one of the longest restoration projects we've ever heard of. Uh, this is a uh, Sikorsky S-39 amphibian, uh, originally built in 1930, one of 21 built in that year. It recovered the airframe from Alaska in the uh, middle 60s, worked on it off and on from then until 2003 and when we finished the airplane restorations. Actually built from uh, the remains of five aircraft. Uh, the structure uh, is quite busy, but nothing too complicated that isn't uh, readily uh, easy to duplicate. So a good part of this airframe has been uh, replaced because what we had was bent or corroded. But it's painted this way uh, to represent the same model airplane that was taken to Africa in the middle 30s, early 30s rather, by Martin and Osa Johnson. There's a museum in Chanute, Kansas, by that name. We made a great deal of effort to make this airplane as original as possible. So we wound up uh, casting new lenses and new, making new bases to have uh, the lights original. Uh, the wing struts, a lot of those were damaged, and so we had to find replacement material. The engine is a, uh, a later version of the original Wasp Jr. Uh, the Sikorskys were the first uh, airplane to use, uh, production airplane to use the uh, 985 Wasp Jr. And I had two, three of those engines, but uh, there are no new parts for those engines. So discretion and better part of valor used a later engine and derated the horsepower to 400. Uh, since 2003, when it first flew, we've flown about a two, 160 hours. Uh, twice to Oshkosh, once to Blaisberg, Iowa, 4,000 miles around uh, the uh, uh, National Air Tour during uh, 2003. Been to uh, various fly-ins around on the East Coast. We brought it down to Fantasy of Flight across the way over here uh, last November and left it there during the winter and brought it over here yesterday. A lot of room in the airplane like old cars, not, not cramped like modern cars. And uh, you, you can see quite well out of it when you're in level flight. When you're trying to taxi with it though, you'll see the bow is quite high. So you kind of have to S turn like this when you're going along uh, to see where you're going. But uh, once you're in level flight, you can see very well over the nose. We find that uh, it, it performs quite well on the water. And uh, we get off the water in about uh, 16 seconds. Uh, which is pretty good for a seaplane. And uh, we'll be demonstrating that uh, on Thursday over here at the seaplane base. With over 700 FBOs nationwide and the strongest supply in the industry, it's no wonder Phillips 66 is aviation's number one fuel provider. Phillips 66, the most trusted wings in aviation.